just the light, it's in the other doorway. Show us what you can do. There you go, thank, thank you. you. Look at that, guys, thank you. I know you're here. Is that Elizabeth? Well, look at Hope's coming towards me, guys. It could be Mary. It could be Mary. Oh, is it Fanny? Yeah. Or Lynn? Or Victoria? Look at these guys. Look at Hope's flying towards you. Can you do that again? Wow, look at that, guys. Look at Hope's. Could be dust. But... Wow, thank you. There's the bear. What about the other ones in the doorway? Show us what you can do. Whoa, some of... There was some there. There, the, look, I've got it, I've got it. That's the over there, there in the doorway there, guys. Out. Look at that. I actually that. saw a human figure appearing. Bears and lights looking. going, look at that. Bear and lights are going. Look, look, look on there, look, while well, he's got this too. Can you see it? Look, so this Jim. is actually using LiDAR technology. It's throwing out into red So light. there's something in the doorways there, guys. Lights going, bears are going. Peggy. Peggy, hi, Peggy. Okay, can you walk to the left? Look at that, guys. Whoa. Please, look at that. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Peggy. Can you touch the bear for me or the lights just to let us know it is you? Please touch the lights for One us. One in the doorway then. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at you now. We can the see it. The doorway of the left of that. Look at that, guys. Bless them. Thank you, spirit. It's like it's holding It's waving up. its hand, though. It's putting its hand up. It's holding something up. Are you holding something? Are you waving at us? Whoa, something at the bottom, right in front of us. Oh, spirit. Look at that, guys. He's waving. He's going to love his hand. Oh, bless you, spirit. Please touch the bear. It's going to make silent in here. Touch the bear. Touch the lights for us. Oh, bless her. Prove you're here. Do you step towards us and walk right up to this camera, please. You're waving at us. You're making a noise. Follow oh, that then. Located. Where are you located? Please let us know. It's yeah. moved its position. Hey, Mr. S. I didn't know you budgies. I want to live. No, no, you're too heavy. It's a glandular problem. Escape. Why is that jet flying so close to our house? At last, those planes are flying where they belong. That's right. Over the homes of poor people. Top secret CIA weather control division, Dick speaking. Dirty pizza store! Oh, it's you, Stan. What kind of favor? Paranormal Chick here. Take a look at this video that was captured down in Mexico. The local news station claimed they were atmospheric sounds as a way of explanation. But the interesting part about this video are the dogs, the animals, their response to what they're hearing and potentially the vibrations. Take a look and tell me what you think. Like, post, comment, repost. Let me know. <laughs>
This professional hang glider made the worst mistake of his life. He forgot to strap in his passenger, taking him on a life-altering journey. He narrowly escaped tragedy, literally clinging for his life. One thing is for certain, he will never have a hang gliding experience that tops this one. He was only able to hang on for so long until he felt it was finally safe to let go. Watch till the end. Quite honestly, I'm amazed that he wasn't screaming for his life at this point. I can't help but think that he probably is, you just can't hear it. It's at this point he finally is able to let go. He said he wasn't even able to hold on longer if he wanted to. And lucky for him, he escaped with his life, suffering minimal injuries from the fall. Back in 1991, I was filming with friends as we knew there was something wrong with the house. And what we caught on camera is known today as the most authentic ghost footage ever caught. This is the Bama Place Shadow Ghost. Something strange happened in the sky in Turkey before the earthquake. Top ışık hüzmesi belirdi, işte böyle ve kayboldu. Daha önce başka depremlerde de benzer görüntüler kaydedilmişti hatırlatın. <gülüyor> If we truly have an outage that is nationwide, that lasts nine months, the EMP commission, they found that as many as 90% of Americans would die. 
90% of Americans, that's what's 90% of 360 million people. That's Yeah, so it's like 300 million. So. 300 million people yeah. wiped off the map yeah. just like that. And how, how long did you say that would take? Nine months. Nine months? I, that. And what does it look like if our power grid goes down? So it really becomes almost zombie apocalypse. And it's horrific because we think about loosening the rule of law. And so we have George Carlin, you know, a clip from, you know, one of his comedy tours in the movie. And he says, you can't count on the police or the National Guard will be at home protecting their own family. There's literally nothing which is going to create nothing. There are no supply chains. There are no, there is no water, there is no food, there is no fuel. Everything that you have come to know, all the both luxuries and necessities in life are fueled by the power grid. That's gonna create chaos because when people get hungry and they get thirsty and desperation sets in, there's no more friends, there's no more communities. People are gonna do whatever they need to do to enable their families and themselves survive. It's just gonna be mass chaos in the streets. There is nobody coming. How are they going to fuel helicopters to bring supplies in? They're not. Even if you had some backup generators, and some people, you know, some institutions like hospitals or apartments might have, but then how much diesel supply do you have? And sometimes it's three days, maybe it might be 30 days, but then your diesel's not going to be delivered because there's going to be chaos. Guys, what is going on? Strange sounds are being heard around the world. In Sweden, this sure sounds like a trumpet. In Michigan, another trumpet-like sound. In British... Videos filmed all over the world have appeared on YouTube, the first in summer last year. But no one's really sure what they're hearing. Speculation ranges from cloaked UFOs to military testing to experiments by HARP, a US research project that studies the ionosphere. All right, now I have to unlock the Bilka doors.
I'm here. Okay, I'm not doing this. Wait for it. Shh. We've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty. This is not real. Nobody is real. You're dreaming. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Are aliens real? You don't talk about aliens. I don't. Much. I'm not a big alien person. I got enough things going without worrying about it. But I'll tell you what, you have a lot of smart people that think that, you know, there happens to be a certain site that's the number one most visited site in the whole country. You know that, What's right? that? Where they think the aliens come down. And I haven't been no, on that. I'll tell you about it after the show. This is the scariest video on the internet. Mary? Mary? Are you still in there, Mary? You can come out now. My name's Thomas. This is an EVP we caught at the Sally house in the nursery. It's by far the best one we've caught so far. And we finally figured out what it said. It took us using headphones to figure it out. But once we both figured it out, it really gave us chills and it's extremely unsettling. Um, it's also really ironic that we both walked into the room just a few seconds after you hear the voice. Um, you might have to use headphones. That's what we had to do, but it's very clear and very scary. Oh, it's warm in here. I like it. Good evening. I wanted to show you all this video that I found a while back. In my opinion, it's one of the best examples of a spiritual entity caught on camera. In 2011, a devastating tsunami hit the country of Japan, killing over 15,000 people. Afterwards, a strange occurrence began happening. Taxi drivers began reporting spirits hailing their cabs down and riding in the taxis, in some cases even speaking to the cab driver. What you're watching is dash cam footage of one of those occurrences. If you watch closely, as shadows pass over the back seat, a figure begins to form. And not only is this shadow in the form of a person, it also seems to have a light-colored face. Now here in the next instant, you'll see that it disappears for a moment, only to return with an even more terrifyingly realistic face.
As you can see, it appears to even have facial features. And in a moment I'll zoom in to show those even more clearly. But of course, it fades away again, as a spirit would. And as the camera pans a little closer, take a look at these facial features that show up. Either this is a hoax, or an amazing capture. And if you remember, many of these apparitions came in after the tsunami. And horrifyingly, this face appears to be swollen as if someone who has died in water. Now, the original video that I took this from was in Japanese, so I don't really have any background other than what I've said. But what do you think about this video? Do you think it's real? Or just some hoax? Let me know in the comments below. Did you see the most recent one? There was a woman who was a model who was on a plane. Did you see that, Jamie? It just got released today. She got what they're calling some of the most compelling UFO video ever. She's flying in a plane in this silver thing. They freeze framed it. It looks like a flying disc. A model saw this? A model. She's just in a plane and filming out the window. And they had seen this thing apparently and she's trying to film it and it shoots by the plane. This happened. I'm sorry. What is that? There's a passenger on the plane, huh? looks out the sorry. window, grabs the phone. This was filmed in June. The traveler sees that, an object apparently changing shapes in what? seconds. What? Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> is it a shape-shifting object? Is it Bezos? Is it Branson? What is it? Is it a UFO? Mel, go for it. I, what do you see? I yeah. have no... Okay, I'm looking at this for the first time. I want it to be surprised. Whoa! Whoa. What was that? that? No way! Okay. Oh, that's crazy. So... No, man. I don't... That could be anything. Honestly, here's the thing. Like, I, I, I don't know what that could be. There's... Someone said, I, I read this little bit online, and someone said that maybe that's just the reflection off no the way. window of... Just film it silently and not be like, are you guys seeing this? Because mm -hmm. in movies, if that is what some people think it is, a UFO, when there's one, there's a hundred that's about to descend on you, and you're like, hey guys, is everybody hip to this? No. no right? No, would no. you not be alerting people? Like, do you I see that? Be... Do you see that? What is that? Yeah. See, that looks you're okay right. to me. That part right there. You're like, that oh, looks like that luggage. Could be... That looked like luggage fell from something. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. No, let's hope. But then, watch, it starts like that. Yeah, come that on. part's weird. It says hello to you, is what it does. Yes. The arms come out. And then it presents itself right here. Yeah. And let me it? present myself as an angel to you <laughs> to make you lose your mind. What are you it's guys there? Like Come on. That's it. That's it looks it like, like a father's tie. A uh, Father's Day tie. A Father's Day tie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does look like a tie. It does. Maybe not just specifically for Father's Day, but yes, it's a tie. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what's the difference? Right. I think they're there. I think it'd be really naive to think that we're the only ones here. We can't even see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, missile! Yes. Missile! Missile! There's a missile! Where? He shot a missile at it! Yeah! Oh, he I hit it! it. He hit it! <laughs> Look at it! He hit it! Look at the smoke! It's falling! Woohoo! Boys, the colors high. He
there's been activity by by alien or non non human technology and or beings that has caused harm to humans. Uh, I can't get into the specifics in a, an open environment, but at least the activity that I personally witnessed, and I have to be very careful here because uh, you don't, you know, they tell you never to acknowledge tradecraft, right? So what I personally witnessed myself and my wife was very disturbing. Hey, y'all, Meyer here. I am like completely blown away with this footage right now. This is brand new, recently dropped. Um, videos of a UFO UAP captured on film. When I'm talking about brand new, I have no backstory. I don't even know who filmed this, where it was at. All I know is this is the best, if it's legit, this is the best footage I've ever seen of a UFO, especially for all of my peeps out there who hate the blurry videos and it's too far away. This is literally up in your face, up in your face, followed by two jets. Tell me what you think. Could this be CGI? And also to the person who filmed this, please, please, please reach out to me. I would love to find out what happened, how you captured this, where they were. Um, you can email me at theparanormalchick at gmail.com. Um, so everybody, take a look. Like, what? What? Tell me what you think. Tornadoes. Tornadoes are not natural. There's no such thing as a natural disaster. Nature will not make a disaster to destroy its own people and its nature. Look at how they create their own, like a science laboratory experiment. That's why all tornadoes are formed with clouds, because they have to see them. Controlling the weather is the ultimate super weapon. It's even more powerful than the atomic bomb. You wonder if you can steer a tornado. What would it take? Even a nuclear weapon might just nudge it, if even that. One challenge with that is your shockwave is going to be hard to focus, perhaps, and it might cause the damage you were hoping to avoid with the tornado. I would be looking at how much can I control or change local pressures in the atmosphere near and around the tornado. You see what I'm saying? They control it. That's why it's made of clouds, so they can form it. That's nanotechnology, so they can see it and know what they're destroying, not themselves. This is the most powerful escape equipment I've ever seen. When the tsunami comes, people just need to hide in the survival pod will be able to escape from the disaster. Although it is in the cliff waterfall of dozens of meters, it is still very safe. From the outside, it looks like an ordinary ball. But actually it's the inside that's the essence. There are two sets of aviation shock absorbing seats inside. And all kinds of necessities. Oxygen supply equipment. It can meet people's survival needs for about 7 days. Even in the sea, you can handle it with ease. Built-in GPS positioning system. It can be found in time by search and rescue personnel after the tsunami is over. The survival capsule is also equipped with a gravity sensor. No bumps when floating on the sea. Glass window design allows people to observe the external environment at any time. Because when the tsunami comes, it will encounter many extreme environments. So the escape capsule is designed with a special aluminum frame at the beginning. And three layers of metal wrapping. Even in the event of a violent impact will not be easily damaged. The lightweight structure also helps the capsule float on the water surface. In addition to basic living supplies, survival capsule has many optional devices, such as internal surround sound, night lighting and toilet, etc.
Kapan tsunami? Mama. Ini mama. orang kenapa orang ini nggak pindah? Ini, ini orang nggak pindah. Allah Allah. Ya Allah. They also found a live alien. That live alien was named Eva, and he was transported to, it was a, ma a male, was transported to Los Alamos, where he, he lived out his life. He died in 1952. But during that time period that he was with us, he told us a plethora of information about what they have learned about the universe and what their technology is. Their technology is probably uh, estimated to be about 50,000 years ahead of us. Now y'all gonna realize why at fucking 455 it gets dark out, but you look past them clouds, the sky is still light out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, what oh fuck! I don't know. Oh, there's no cup on there now, bro. Now we're getting whole guys Ooh, bunch of the mood. When the world falls out, it will come to explode. Oh, you got to use a micro, you man.
They're making clouds, dude. Forney, Texas, USA, looming it. That's a damn cloud. Did you see the most recent one? There was a woman who was a model who was in a plane. Did you see that, Jamie? It just got released today. She got what they're calling some of the most compelling UFO video ever. She's flying in a plane in this silver thing. They freeze framed it. It looks like a flying disc. A model saw this? A model. She's just in a plane and filming out the window. And they had seen this thing apparently and she's trying to film it and it shoots by the plane. Fake snow in Texas.